morning folks time for a weekend shave this is a Wednesday for me update and today's uh, soap tallow and steel the dark series there's a good look at it right there and I tried not to booger up the soap too terribly much till I sh showed it so I scooped out a little bit on the side but that's what it looks like and uh, you can you can push your finger in, it's not too terribly hard. This scent is a... Uh, this scent I would uh, I would relate to Sterling's uh, Black Cherry. That when you open the top and you... That you don't have to take a real good whiff of it before you, you, know, you get a good idea what the scent is of this. So, it smells great. But what I do is I go ahead and tell you some of the... Uh, uh, scents that you, that you would smell in this soap would be coffee, coca, vetiver, ginger, peppermint, and there's one other one, but I don't pick that up in there. So, uh, but I, I'm telling you, the scent is it is great, uh, really nice scent. At least I like it. Uh, definitely good for the morning. But once again, there's the label there for tallow and steel, and also got the. Matching aftershave there. Nice bl uh, glass bottle. Going to be using Humphreys today. Witch Hazel. My trusty Allen block. Complete with rubber band. I, uh, <clears throat> like I said I already scooped some of this up. Got it whipped up in my bowl here. And using one of my favorite brushes as it goes for bristle and in the way of horsehair be along and this uh, didn't have any problems whipping this uh, lather up you can definitely smell the scent right off of the brush and I'm going to be shaving with a the blades gonna be a perma sharp half blade and the shave it of the day is Facebook group shave it world shave it don't know if you can see what that blade looks like coming out right there and uh, had it over here my mug warming up um, I've already uh, put the bloom water to the face go ahead and re-wet here real quick and get started lathering I'm telling you the scent on this soap is just it's awesome if if I had to relate it to another scent that that a person could uh, relate to that has not have not hasn't had this one uh, and uh, if you've been a member or seen with the face Facebook group or Google Plus Donald has a uh, soap out that's the uh, New York Peppermint Patty. I have that one. But uh, you, most people know what that uh, Peppermint Patty smells like. And in the way of a candy and or the what the face soap, Donald soap. And this one smells similar to that. So if you at least know what the candy smells like, that's what this smells like. You can definitely smell the chocolate, you know, the, the mocha, the coffee, uh, the mint, peppermint. Hey, this is, for me, I really like this scent. I also like horsehair brushes. As it goes for natural bristles, horsehair is my favorite. Um, I don't have any problems getting them lather up. All I smell is the soap off of it. So in other words, I don't smell a uh, wet animal, for instance. <laughs> I don't get that off of this brush. But I also you know, take a moment to lather it up, let it set, and go through my ritual when it comes to uh, breaking in the uh, uh, natural bristle. Go ahead and get started with pass number one here with the grain. 
This particular shavette is, uh, was made for the Facebook Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. You'll be hard pressed trying to find one of these because they were made in limited number for the Facebook group. But the uh, soap in the uh, aftershave on the Crown King line is available. At least last time I checked, I don't know. I don't think he sold out. It's a uh, polo scent. Nice scent. Great scent. I really like that one. Uh, if I remember the way I read it is, uh, I guess you might say, pattern after a steeplechase that was made a while back on the Crown King line. Like uh, most of these soaps that we get nowadays from the from the artisans, this is a very creamy soap. Also, this uh, soap comes by the way of Canada. Forgot to mention that earlier. Winnipeg, if I remember correctly. I'll put a link to it down below. Make it a little bit easier to run it down if you haven't uh, already looked into their soap. Then after shave. You can kind of tell there's plenty of slickness with this soap. This is really creamy. In my opinion, when it comes to the artisans nowadays, a lot of stiff competition, I'm telling you. You'd kind of have to go out of your way to find a soap that's not too whoopy. When it comes to uh, half blades in a shave it, uh, Definitely not all blades are, how you can say, created equal. And you may have a different experience than what I have with some of these half blades. Aster uh, SP, the green ones, work well with for me. Uh, Persona. Uh, Shark uh, Super Chrome. Some blades just work better than others for me. Derby, not that I can't shave with a derby in a shave vet, but I, I don't get a, the best of shaves with it. But I have a Merker uh, DE razor. I think it's like the 1904, 1906. Uh, it's patterned off of that model. And uh, I get a great shave with derby blades in that razor. In other words, I, I don't, of all the blades I just mentioned, none of those compare to the shave I get with a derby blade in that razor. Just an awesome shave. Why it's like that, I don't could tell you. Why there's such a difference from razor to razor, sometimes on how the blade will, what kind of shave you get with it. Matter of fact, by the end of December, I plan on shaving with it again. Because it's a, it, like I say, I get a great shade with it.
with that Derby blade and that razor. Get ready for pass number two here. It's kind of tall. There you go. Get a good look at it there. Just makes it easier to paint with. See what I mean? I mean, it, it, this this brush is it's easy to if you're trying to get a quick shave in a brush like this is it's pretty handy to have. I guess it might be also this time of year to have a coffee scented soap is to me just you know one of those ones you'd like to have especially if you're a coffee drinker I am but I don't drink it black I can't I can't drink coffee black I just can't do it I just can't. When I was in the Gulf War, uh, soda pop, Coke, in other words, because that's one of my favorite drinks, not readily available out in the desert. So uh, that's when I started drinking coffee. And of course, it was instant Sanka. So there's a few times, yeah, I end up drinking that coffee cold because that was all that I had really available in the time for. Mix it right up and drink it like it was and <laughs> got used to drinking coffee cold. I haven't had uh, instant coffee since then. <laughs> I don't know if I could drink it now or not. <laughs> I couldn't say. At that point in time, we're all... Uh, I can say drinking and eating things that we uh, normally wouldn't have done if we were stateside. In other words, I got a care package. Uh, matter of fact, I got it right on my birthday. Out in the desert, couldn't time the, uh, the delivery any, any better. And I uh, got the care package and it had uh, some tuna in it. Eight tuna straight from the can. After eating so many MREs, uh, <laughs> tuna straight from the can was uh, pretty tasty at that point in time. Can't tell you how many days they'd uh, give, uh, have these little loaves of bread. And peanut butter and jelly sandwiches was a treat. those little mini loaves of bread so I guess you might say this then kind of brings back a lot of memories from those days coffee in other words I was sitting there looking at that package hadn't had caffeine in a while and I was ready for some caffeine <laughs> looking at that package and going to have to give it a try because I don't have anything else to use. So you can bet I used the sugar packet and the creamer packet that came right along with it and collected up all the packets I can get from everybody else that wasn't using it.
if you haven't seen any of the movies, you do, uh, if you give it a little bit of thought, the guys do get a little creative. Because <laughs> after a while, like I say, you can only eat or, I can only drink so much water. I, I gotta have something different. That's just the way I'm, I'm made. I just can't, can't drink, you know, continuous water. Some people can't, I just can't do it. I'm not one of those kind of people. So this, uh, this scent is, you can smell, I can, to, to me, if I, uh, if I feel like I can smell all those scents in that soap, I kind of feel like everybody else probably will too, because I'm sure most people's got a better nose than what I've got. Pochetville feels great. I enjoy the, um, uh, the creaminess of uh, some of these soaps on this post shave feel where your face feels moisturized don't feel like you have to have a balm doesn't feel dried out really good shave I mean I'm not typically in some places I you know normally will have a little bit of stinging not that I got a bad shave or anything, it's just kind of normal for me. And uh, I'm not even getting that. Really nice, smooth, comfortable shave. Great shave. Witch Hazel. Humphreys. Now, I've seen a posting on Facebook uh, asking about uh, the difference in between... Uh, uh, let's see here. Something along the lines of Dickinson's. This is a Witch Hazel Toner. Uh, brand names between these two, I, I honestly, I can't tell the difference. The only thing I can probably tell the difference in, and that should be normal with any Witch Hazels when it's got a scent to it. And I do have some Witch Hazel that does have a scent to it. But uh, outside of that, performance in between them, Honestly, I can't tell the difference. Really can't. I can't. Somebody else might be able to, but I sure enough can. After shave. Now, it doesn't say anywhere on here to shake it up. It's just, for me, sometimes it's a habit on certain uh, after shaves to give it a good shake. Now, this is what the restrictor looks like. It's not a real big restrictor hole there. So, you're going to have to Shake it a few times to get a little bit out. And I'm not going to be able to hold this up to show you. But the uh, the color of it uh, looks like uh, coffee with creamer in it. Man, that smells good. <laughs> My face is really smooth this morning. You know how it is every once in a while when you get that really great shave, that DFS shave? That's what I got this morning, man. Uh, really smooth on the cheeks, down on the neck. Really good shave this morning. Okay, I'm going to go back and touch base real quick what we uh, what I show you, shaved with today. Once again, here's the aftershave, Tallow Steel Dark. And it's a peppermint coffee, ginger vetiver. Great soap. Really like this soap. Lather is whipped up in my uh, bowl that I got f from uh, Distinctive Goat on Etsy. Still got some soap left here in the bowl. Whipped up with a via long horsehair br bristle brush. Tongue twister. Also shaved with a uh, Shave It razor Facebook. So if you're interested in checking us out, like I said, we're on Facebook. Ronnie runs the show there. And uh, we are having a, uh, a brush. They're looking into having a brush made for the group also. Uh, typically, I have, uh, I have a routine set up, but I've got some new hardware. And uh, so my shaves are going to be looking a little different uh, this week, the rest of this week. Um, I got a new handle from uh, Jake from uh, Mac Metalworks, 
and this is the handle he made for my Icon razor. Also got a uh, slant. That's my first slant, so this week I'll be shaving with it. Um, saying what I, how, I've, <laughs> how that shave went. Not ever shaved with a slant before. And I also will be shaving this week with, this is a Parker variant. This is an adjustable razor. And uh, I have shaved with some Gillettes. But this will be my first shave with a modern uh, adjustable DE razor. And uh, hopefully all goes well. So until next time, stay safe and smooth shaves.